Not only is it cold outside, Todd's computer system also cold, also needs to be warmed up just like the rest of us. So we'll do the best we can on this Monday. It's a Monday. <laughs> Welcome to Monday. Weekend is officially over for me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good to see you. Uh, starting out this day, really cold. Temperatures been dropping through the course of the night. You heard the wind blowing, too. So these are the current numbers. Single digits to the teens along the coastline. But these are the current wind chill values, what it actually feels like. And it feels like below zero in all locations in Maine, except for right now, Rockland and Wiscasset, but just barely above the zero degree mark. Feels like five below Portland, same in Bangor, 10 below Augusta, and almost 10 below in Lewiston, Auburn, 20 below up in Moosehead there at Greenville. All right, as we look at this weather map, high pressure coming down from Canada. This is the worst of it. Once this high settles through us, we're actually going to start to turn milder middle of the week. We do have a large storm. I don't know if you've been watching some of the national headlines, but uh, Denver, Colorado, the Rockies just getting pummeled with snow. Uh, my dad lives out there. He sent me some pictures. I was talking to him last night. It, it's insane. They had like four foot drifts. I'm going to try to ingest one of these pictures into the computer later on this morning, but I'm having computer issues, so I don't know if I'll be able to get it to you. But this storm is actually going to fall apart and stay south of us through the middle of the week. So we're storm free for a little while. A lot of sunshine out there, but it's bitter. Nasty, stinging wind, and you know, it's just going to be kicking up most of the day. Bright sunshine midday. The wind and the cold will be out there. It's going to feel like the dead of winter. High temperatures don't get much better than 20 today. It'll be clear through the evening hours and light now until 7 o'clock in the evening. That's when dust kind of disappears and the darkness settles in. Speaking of settling in, cold temperatures, big time drop tonight will be in the single digits by tomorrow morning. Look at your highs today, 20 to about 25. But keep in mind, the wind is going to be blowing 25 miles per hour most of the day. Normally we see 42. Our highs today, about 20 degrees colder than that. Pretty incredible. Now that Arctic air will be retreating tomorrow. It starts to turn a little milder, more respectable in the 30s. There's the storm system nailing Denver right now, staying south of us. Just some rain showers for the mid-Atlantic. A larger one will be forming in the middle of the country, middle of the week. That one's going to come closer to us Thursday. A front comes through and probably saves us from the brunt of the storm. So the storm track with this is probably going to stay south of us and we'll be with high pressure and some pretty nice weather entering the weekend. Right now it looks like it's a mess, but it's going to be super, super close. There's the snow from it getting all the way up to 495 in southern New England there in Massachusetts. So it'll be a close call, but if we miss that storm, this is through the next week. Still no snow around here, and that would take us into the third week of March. Gale warnings are up for the day. Seas four to seven feet. We've got freezing spray, two problems. Wind northwest out of the uh, gusting to 40 knots, so blowing out there pretty good. 20 to 25, bitter cold, high temperatures there. And then we got sunshine for the day, but it'll be windy. Mid 30s tomorrow, better with partly sunny skies. Partly to mostly cloudy on Wednesday, highs in the 40s. Thursday, mostly cloudy, upper 40s, turns briefly cooler on Friday in the 30s there. We'll be watching that storm system, but right now it looks like it's going to be south of us. And that'll leave us with a sweet weekend. I mean, look at that. 48 on Saturday and mid 50s. Wow. On Sunday. Looking pretty good, huh, Lee? I'm just going to smile for a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll be over you don't here. have to say anything. I get it. I'm actually smiling equally at the forecast and the fact that you got through the forecast. So yeah, it was close. That's a, that's there were, it was still a little temperamental. Right, I don't well, know if you, you noticed. You've got about 12 minutes till the next one. So <laughs> we'll see if we can go. fix it. <laughs>